Okay guys, welcome back to Card Art. Um, as we talked about before, we were going to do a governor removal. So this is what we're gonna do today. As you can see, I've already removed some of the, the smaller stuff, um, the tank. I don't think anyone really needs a description on that, but uh, you're only talking about three bolts. Well, one bolt and two nuts, one eight millimeter, two 10, mil 10 millimeter nuts here. And then take the tank off. I've already drained the oil. This is a lot easier if you just do this right after you buy it. But, you know, in my case, I like to run them and break them in a little bit before I start messing with them. So here we are. So at this point, I've got the oil drained, the gas tank off. What we're going to focus on is taking these bolts out here. You've got one, two, three, four, five, ten millimeter bolts that hold the side cover on so we're just going to take these off now for a project like this you're not going to need many tools I've probably got more tools over here than I actually need uh, I've got a couple wrenches and oh, that one's pretty good socket wouldn't be a bad idea for some of these harder to break bolts I'm hoping to be able to reuse the gasket if at all possible um, a lot of people won't reuse any gasket that's been on before but I typically reuse gaskets if they're in good shape If not, I have some gasket maker. Well, I certainly prefer to reuse the uh, stock gasket if I can. I just, when I ordered my last group of parts, I didn't even consider buying a couple spare side cover gaskets. So, as cheap as they are, they're certainly not a bad thing to have around. Pull this guy out when I drain the oil. Don't want to lose him. So, for a lot of this stuff, I like to use a, a dead blow hammer. Um, this one's chewed up because I use it a lot. But uh, for this kind of stuff, I just kind of like to give it a little, a little shock. This will help free up some of those. Uh, those gasket surfaces and I'm gonna try and work in a paint scraper on the back side you can see there how easy that's going so just that dead blow hammer and they're not expensive you can get them auto parts stores Home Depot um, you know those kind of places and they really work good. I would really would advise uh, against using a regular hammer on the side of these uh, of these cases. Uh, th these are cast, so they don't they don't take a whole lot. Well, I've got a, a little rag here. Um, keep things clean. So we'll just go ahead and, we're gonna go ahead and tip the. Uh, motor on its side here even though I, I drain the oil and let it drain for some time you're still not going to get all the oil so never a bad idea to have some shop rags laying around so I'm just going to take a look here and make sure I'm not tearing this gasket because like I said I really want to reuse this gasket because I, I don't really like using RTV if I can help it I just I'm just not a big fan 
So there we go. Side covers off and the gasket's in really good shape, so I'm definitely going to reuse that. All right, guys, so we're back. Um, changed my light settings here so you guys can see what's going on in the inside of the motor. But as you can see, um, this is what it's going to look like when you first open the side cover. Um, we've taken the rod off so we can freely move this. Um, so what you want to do is you can rotate the crank pretty easily. You want to move the crank to about this position. Give yourself the most room you can. And for right now, we can just swing this guy out of the way. And we'll grab a set of needle nose pliers. And we'll pull this guy out. Oop. As you can see, the uh, washer fell out. That was one of the things I was going to mention was make sure you get all those parts out. I mean, we're not going to reuse them, so that doesn't matter. But the next really problematic area we're going to face and what people struggle with is, if you can tell, there's a small clip that holds this plastic governor in. So what we need to do is just kind of, most people just beat the mess out of it just to try and deform it so that you can pull this off. So that's what we're going to do now. I've removed the governor. Um, I'm kind of forced to do that off camera uh, just because I can't help but use a few choice words. So um, yeah, so I'll leave that off camera. This is the governor, and this little guy here is the clip. So this sits on that rod in there, and then this little clip sits down right in that little hole there. And uh, it's a pain. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. That's the worst part of this uh, whole ordeal. You have to beat and bang on that thing with a screwdriver, and uh, it's, it's just not fun. Um, so one thing to look out for after you remove the governor, there is a washer here. Um, you're definitely going to want to get that out. And so what we're going to do now is work on getting the governor arm out. Well, our key there, won't need that anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this governor arm up and I think it'll actually hold itself there pretty nicely and we're gonna cut the top of that off so that we can fish it back down through and uh, we'll get it out of there that'll be the next step so a lot of people use a Dremel Dremels are fine um, I'm not big on Dremels uh, I don't really like Dremels for some reason I've just never liked them so I'm going to use this vastly overpowered cutoff wheel. Once I can figure out an angle of attack where I'm not going to hit anything. And that's what I'm going to use. So uh, if you're going to use something like this, definitely be really careful. Um, you don't want to cut yourself with it. So I'm going to hold this up and then I'm going to keep my hand way back here and support it. And I'm just going to come in right like that. Here we go. this thing it's, maybe it's the danger part that I like uh, it works a lot better than a Dremel obviously but uh, it's uh, quite a bit more dangerous so now that we've got that off we should be able to fish this out and it looks like it might need a little help which is pretty common so I just like to take a uh, Phillips head and kind of use it as a punch I have punches you can use one Certainly, but this seems to be just as effective. As you can see, we're gonna work this down. So now that we've got it punched down and we're looking at what's left, there's not much left to do. I like to just grab a pair of needle nose pliers and we'll just reach in here. 
get it the rest of the way out. There you have it. If this washer doesn't come off, you want to make sure that you look and get that washer. So the biggest part of this is, is getting that, that clip off of the plastic governor gear and getting all the parts out. And I've still got this black washer in here. Okay, so the next task is going to be blocking this passage off. You can tap it, you cannot tap it. If you have a good quality bolt, it'll actually tap itself. Um, what I like to do is just stick a rag in there. Um, that way that, that rag will catch any kind of metal fragments or anything that falls through. You're gonna have to clean this up, you know, really well either way. But this really just, for peace of mind, I like to use a rag. Um, so what I have here is a quarter 28 socket head screw. And I bought these from Fastenal. Um, you use a lot of them if you're doing anything in the race cart world. Um, but it's it's a really good hard bolt, and I can tap that in, and it'll it's harder than the aluminum block, so it'll tap itself, and it's fine thread, which I like. So we'll go ahead and. See if we can tap this in. Which, as you can see, it's. I'm not having to turn this very hard at all. I'm just using my wrist right on the inside of the ratchet, so it's. It's not. I don't have to use a lot of force to get this in. And I really prefer these fine threads because then I don't have to use any kind of sealants or sealers or anything like that. Once this goes in, there's no way oil or any kind of vacuum is going to leak past this. Now, another option you have is to and is to tap this for a vent if you're going to use a pulse pump. I'm not. I'm going to use a stock tank, and uh, you really just want to get this snug. So I've got it in there snug. I'm not going to go any further. And you'll see that doesn't protrude from from the whole end of the block at all and it's a really nice little fit and it, it it doesn't even it's not a huge bolt that's something that's going to be noticeable and I, I just prefer that okay guys now that we've got uh, everything removed i've removed the black washer i've double triple checked everything is good i'm going to leave the low oil uh sensor in place i just to gain a little bit of extra oil volume isn't that important i'm going to leave this pretty much stock and it's sealed, why mess with it? So I've cleaned the gasket surfaces and now we are ready to put the side cover back on. And putting this, this back on is pretty simple. You just wanna make sure you get the, uh, the bearing lined up and then the bolt holes lined up and it should, it should go back on fairly easily. Obviously, if yours doesn't, you might have something out of line, but it should snap on just that easy. And now we'll reinstall the bolts into the side cover. We will be leaving the gas tank off. I'm going to do a follow-up video on setting up your throttle after doing a governor removal. Um, and it's something that I really like the throttle setup I don't I didn't make it up I found it on the internet and it's just how I do all mine since seeing that and it uses all the stock parts which is nice and minimal effort on your part they all require a little bit of twisting and stuff but we'll get into that in the next video that's after this so on these bolts I don't uh, I don't do a whole lot uh, as far as worrying about torque. I just use a little bit of common sense and understand that it's a cast part and that uh, it breaks easily. Uh, if you want to look up the torque values, by all means, go ahead. That certainly is the correct way to do it. Um, I just use 
what I feel like is enough and I kind of try and emulate a star pattern as much as I can or at least to spread the torque around on the side cover as I do torque it down it's not a bad idea to have something to hold it while you do this this is pretty much it you've now successfully removed your governor what I consider to be the right way there you go next video up throttle linkage thanks guys